I named this project the Wanderer's Desk because it features the IOD Wander Transfer and also because I am passionate about wandering. On one of our recent trips, we stayed in an old German houseboat underneath the Eiffel Tower. One of my fondest memories of wandering was taking a high-speed train to Versailles on my birthday, renting bikes, and wandering around the grounds. I picked up this desk at Rocky Hill Antiques in Exeter, California. That's where my booth is located. And it really was in good condition. It just needed a little cosmetic help. So I started out with applying Salvation Solution to cover up all those stains and blemishes. After letting the Salvation Solution dry for a day, I base coated the drawers and stenciled the outsides to dress it up and gave the whole desk a base coat of a beautiful creamy white DIY color. To see all my color choices for this project, visit the end screen. That will be at the very end of this video. Now she was all freshened up and ready for those fun DIY paint colors. I used my continuous mist spray bottle and watered down DIY paint to create a watercolor effect. It's a different kind of sadness. It's a different kind Once my watercoloring was done, I got out my favorite new paint toy, I mean paint tool. This is an IOD first generation textured roller. Reach out to your local IOD stockist and DIY paint retailers to get these products right away. Or you can visit my website, fruitfullifestudio.com, and have them delivered to your door. Now I'm rolling on DIY's Farm Fresh onto my favorite IOD stamp, Bohemia. Oh, it's not a blessing. I sealed this entire piece with Big Top because next up comes the beautiful transfer called Wander and I wanted to seal these clay based all natural paints so that the transfer would apply effectively. The grid system on the backing of these IOD transfers makes it perfect for cutting into sections to fit your piece. So that's what I did. I cut them apart, did one drawer at a time. I even layered some on top of each other to fill in some of the negative spaces. Burnish the transfer using a soft cloth or the back of the transfer piece. I sealed the transfer with applying another coat of Big Top Top Coat and when that was dry, I accented using dark wax. Now it was time to give the hardware a facelift. So I stippled on weathered wood and then mixed up Pennies from Heaven Copper Patina with some kissing booth to give it a rosy glow. Ooh. 
I also use this rose colored copper patina to accent the desk to tie it in with the hardware. And here she is, the Wanderer's Desk. I would appreciate a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my own YouTube channel so that you can see the next project I'm creating, which will be a coordinating chair to match this desk. Thanks for watching and happy creating.